Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 7th of September where I just look at one of our signals from our stock scanner membership um, where we set, give our members potential fifth wave trades every single day on the daily, the weekly and the 60 minute time frame, both long and short with also stochastic longs and stochastic short signals as well. So let's have a quick look at the short trades. We're going to look for a short today. And our members area here for potential short fifth wave trades, our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet for today. The spreadsheet looks something like this. So I've chosen the 60 minute time frame. Again, if you look at the bottom of this uh, spreadsheet, you'll see there is available for daily and weekly. But I've gone for 60 minute and I've gone for AT&T, top of the list there. AT&T on the 60 minute for a potential short. So let's go through and look at it on a chart. So this is an exploded view on our Ninja Trader platform. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Ninja Trader NT8. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, and then in a minute we're going to look at the Think or Swim version. The next thing we need to look at, just want to go back to a couple of days ago, I made a video on Twitter for a short. This was on the daily time frame. And now we can see this has really gone in the last couple of days and may even hit target today on this short. So it just goes to show you the short fifth wave trades can go really, really quickly. So let's go back to AT&T on the Think or Swim platform. Okay, so for our members, just to remind you to uh, look for isolating that wave count. This is a thin course inversion. This is AT&T again on the six minute time frame. Uh, exactly the same sort of wave count, um, but we want those highs there. That's where we isolate our wave, wave count for our indicator suite. And then our indicator suite simply just labels the Elliott waves like one, two, three, and then the wave four pullback. And it's that wave four pullback that we're really interested in right now. And this is forms part of our stock scanner membership. We look at three basic filters um, born from our indicator suite. The first one is that the wave four has, found, has pulled back against the main trend. And on the 60 minute time frame, the main trend is bearish at the moment. We've had a pullback against there. The wave four has found resistance in our amber zone. That means there's an 80% probability if, it, if that resistance holds and it comes back down, we've got an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zone down here in blue, around about 3124 in the middle of that target zone there. The next filter, the, the top two of the two subcharts, is the 535 oscillator. We're looking for that to crown within 90 to 140 percent of the highest point on wave three. Now that is still in just at this moment in time. If we get negative movement today, we'll see uh, today's, uh, the, the next sort of hours and so's um, candles making that crown and we'll get a shorter profile on that 535 oscillator. So we're just in there now. And then the bottom subchart is our false breakout stochastic. As we can see on the bottom of there in the oversold zone, there is a yellow line. That denotes a strong bearish trend. The stochastic's pulled back against there into the overbought zone. And now we're looking for it to return. It's like an elastic band. It wants to return to that main bearish trend. It should go down and uh, return to that main bearish trend. So those are the three main filters that we look for in our stock scanner membership using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Again, that stock scanner membership gives you potential trades on both long and shorts on the 60 minute daily and weekly timeframes. So let's go for the entry here. Uh, today's Friday, don't be scared of entering a trade like this on a Friday, it could go really quickly. Um, so we wanna be outside of the 6.4 moving average low. This is the red moving average on our indicator suite here and this is an, an advanced um, moving average it's an advance of the, um, of the of the candles and that gives us a conservative entry strategy so we want to be below there we also want to be below this pivot here this was a rejection of a move low so we want to make sure we're way below that so 3197 is our entry short on AT&T this is below the whole $32 mark as well but below the pivot point below the 64 moving average so a sensible entry stop loss 
just above the wave four high there, about 32.33. This gives a risk to reward of one to two into our target zone here. Again, the target zones around about, right in the middle of there is about 31.23. So really great risk to reward. If it does move quickly today and come down to this sort of level here between the, you know, in the um, previous wave three, that's about a 1.4% profit on the account balance. If you don't want to carry it over the weekend and it does get to that sort of low, take the trade, take, take the profit, walk away. So, okay, so that's it for today. A great looking short trade on AT&T AT &T on the 60 minute time frame. Have a great trading day and a great weekend.